Welcome to Fayum. Just leaving the waterfalls and ah, <laughs> look at this. Well, this is one of the oldest pyramids in Egypt. Egypt. I am going to a desert oasis called Fayum and Fayum is actually very close to Cairo. It is maybe a hundred kilometers southwest from the city so it should only take me a few hours to drive there. In Fayum there's going to be some lesser known pyramids to see. There are some waterfalls out in the desert, ancient whale bones, temple ruins. There's a lot to see there, a lot of history so I'm very excited to go to experience it myself and also to show you guys. Let's go. Yalla. <laughs> Welcome to Fayum. 
So there is so much history here, you guys. I don't even know where to start. Fayum is known for its agricultural aspects like fishing and farming. Um, going back to prehistoric times, archaeologists have found evidence of um, hunter-gatherer communities living here. So the settlement came into existence well over 4,000 years ago, uh, started by the ancient Egyptians. It was during the Old Kingdom, it was called Shedet. Uh, it was an se uh, agricultural center for them, as well as a center for Sobek, the crocodile-headed god of ancient Egypt. After the conquest of Alexander the Great, the oasis continued to be an agricultural center. Uh, the Greeks and the Romans, like the Greco-Roman period, had used it as an agricultural center as well. The Greeks called it Crocodopolis. It was also important during the Christian period when Christians were building monasteries here and using it as a sort of a refuge. After the conquest of Egypt by the Arabs in the 7th century, it continued to be an agricultural center and up until the Ottoman times as well. So, and it still is today. There's still a lot of fishing and farming here. So for thousands of years, this Oasis has been used as an agricultural center um, and it's just incredible. There's a lot of greenery here if you haven't noticed and palm trees and yeah, it's just gorgeous. I have arrived to my hotel, hostel. It is called El Farsha Camp. It's beautiful in here. It's like a little garden. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so there's two golden retrievers. And they brought me tea. Hmm. Delicious. <laughs> I'll show you my room. Dun, dun, dun. <coughs> so, bathroom. So, shower. Check. Got a mirror, <laughs> two mirrors actually, and beds, which is great. So I only am paying $16, $16 a night for this. It was the cheapest thing that I could find online. I was looking and a lot of things seemed to be quite expensive, but this was a decent deal for Fayum that I found. So, and it's beautiful. Yeah, it's very beautiful here. I just found out from Ahmed, the guy at the hostel, that a lot of things close at 2 p.m. So I am going to, I was going to drive to Valley of the Whales, which I will tell you more about later, but I don't have time for that. It's too far away. So I'm going to head to a temple, Qasr Karun. So let's get on the bike again. Yalla, check out this temple before they close. <laughs> Thank you. 
Gigi, yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Kasser Karun. Ah, I'm not a Betalim. Betalim, but today I'm not going to No, واحدة واحدة صح؟ بالضبط <تصفيق> شكرا هاي انا كويسة وات تايم ديز ذس سايت كلوز؟ تمام بس كاسف كارون بفتا اند ذن كلوز وات تايم ديز ات كلوز؟ الساعة كم؟ الساعة كم؟ الساعة كم؟ الساعة كم؟ الساعة كم؟ وادي هيتان أربعة 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 كله أربعة تمام أوكي شكرا وعايزة واحدة واحد واحد واحدة واحد ما أعرفش أمريكا أمريكا آه يلا بينا آه يلا بينا شكرا مع السلامة <laughs> Welcome to Kasar Karun. So thousands of years before the dams were built to keep the crocodiles at bay from the, uh, on the Nile, this temple existed and it is in honor or built to worship the crocodile, ancient Egyptian crocodile god Sobek. Built in the 4th century BCE, that is 2,400 years ago. And I was told on the 21st of December the sun hits outside directly to here.
the croco crocodile-headed god Sobek. Yeah, for those of you that didn't know, Fayum is a center of worship um, for the crocodile-headed god Sobek. And there's a lot of temples dedicated to him in this area. And there's remnants of someone here. But the torso, the upper torso is missing. So I read actually online that there was ancient crocodile eggs found next to like an old pool in different parts of Fayum as well. So there's a lot of history and it was definitely a center of worship for Sobek. We also have Komombo, which is further south in between uh, Luxor and Aswan. But this is, was like the center of worship for Sobek thousands of years ago. crazy to think about this temple existing 2,400 years ago when there was a, a whole settlement out here of people. Now this is all that remains. are ruins of old buildings that are completely demolished now, completely eroded with time. <laughs> this, these police are like following me around the security guys, but they told me I couldn't film with my camera and I was just like, what? <laughs> Acting stupid, so they let me, but I wish they weren't following me around. I feel a little bit rushed. Back to um, uh, Fayum being like the center for Sobek. This was, you know, around the Ptolemaic period, so at the end of the BCs and into like ADs. But there was very, um, like I said, a center of worship. So much so that when like the Greeks and the Romans were here, they called it, the Greeks called it Crocodilopolis. <laughs> so you can imagine the amount of like crocodiles and eggs and worships and statues and temples that were dedicated to Sobek. Pretty amazing. And that's Kasser Karun. <laughs> <laughs> Very sandstormy. Valley of the Whales. It's ancient whalebone fossils from 37 million years ago. When Egypt was tropical, essentially a low tropical sea. Look at all of these shells I found. Told this road was not very good. At this point, I'm not turning back because I don't know how far I've gone and it keeps giving me the same directions. 